right, open for business. We got CNIT gapping up from two dollars. Well, no, what one? Yeah, two dollars and twenty cents all the way up to four. So that should be nice. Let me see what first solar can do if it can hold up. Had a little V shape around the bottom yesterday. So if buyers continue to step in and stock and push above 69.30 and take a trade on that. Uh, overstock may be in play today as well. CarMax has yet to open up, so I'm still waiting on that one, but it looks good. And CCIH, anything up above this trend line, I will take a trade on it. It's Friday. I feel like it's been a long week, even though this is only the with my third trading day. So looking forward to the weekend, but let's get started. CCIH, looks like it might be the first play. Got some nice volume kicking in. Break this trend line, form a new area of support underneath us. That would be a buy. I'm gonna step into some CCIH up there, 358. And I put my stop around So it's looking good. Could break above this pre-market high. Which was what? 373. CNIT's looking great. Close up above four. That'll be a play also. I'm going to sell half of this CCIH. I got 1,500 shares left. Lock in a couple bucks. We must stop up the break even. I'm gonna buy some CNIT 425. I'm sorry, not 419. With CCIH 393. CNIT. So I'm sell half at 450. Got 1500 shares left. And CCIH is 429. Sell another 500 shares. Let the last thousand ride on out. So this might be the only two trades I need to take today. Let me do this. Let me switch this up. C N I T and C C I H. All right, so I got the last thousand riding out on C C I H. Move my stop up to four twenty six. Sell another 500 and it's 421. Got 500 left and another 500 of CNIT here at 487. Got a thousand left on it at 490 from 419. Alright, so 
The market's moving kind of fast. Got a little flustered there a little bit, but I think I got my feet back on solid ground. So long CCIH, 500 shares left. Seems like it might hit my stop and uh, flatten out. Does. Stop is at four bucks. Long CNIT from 419, move my stop up. So I'm gonna flatten out a CCIH. What's that? 1290 on it. So that was a great trade. Still holding CNIT from 419. I got a thousand shares left. Move my stop up to 450. Now I'm gonna move it again. Uh, let's move it to, to let me sell 500 shares. And then I'm so sell 500 up there. Five. All right, so I got 500 shares left. So my stop was probably too tight on this CCIH which it may be a little tight on this uh, CNIT, but since I made 1,200 today already, which is my goal, is to make 1,000, should be all right. Moving your stocks, stops can be tricky, uh, especially if you not, you know, you don't, I didn't use a um, extension or things like, or something like that, which, be, which I probably should have for the CCIH, probably could still be in that trade, but it's cool. So I am flattened out of CNIT, and that's it. So 1330 on CNIT and 1290 on CCIH. Every day is not this easy, don't think it is. Today is just a great day say that it's just a great day obviously yesterday wasn't lost money yesterday makes money today so that's great but that's it for me y'all have a great weekend man have a great time uh, don't chase the money chase the setup you know don't count another man's pockets what another trader makes what he makes or she makes you know that money will never enter your bank account so don't worry about it it's where focus on your trades. Have tunnel vision. El eliminate all the outside noise, all the backseat drivers, all the the, the, the uh, people sitting in the crowd that, has, that have a lot of things to say. Eliminate that and trade the charts. Live in that moment. Live in the moment. Focus on your chart. Focus on the price action. What you see. Determine what supply and demand is, and take a trade. So. Right here, got a pre-market high of 7373 on CCIH. The stock pushed lower pre-market, so I look for a break above this trend line. We got the break, we got the volume to increase. So what did I do? I took the trade. As the stock pushed higher, I scaled out to make profits. Same thing on CNIT. Got pre-market high right here, 393. What I got in at 319, I believe. Fortnite, I got in at 419, I'm sorry. So I got in at 419, a little late, you know, a little late to the party, but it still was a break over pre-market high. Volume is increasing. One, two, three candles. You got three candles where volume is going up. So as vol if volume is going up, that means more people are entering into the stock. Either buying or selling. Either way, you know, if, this, if these are red candles, that means more people will be selling the stock. But these are green, so more people are buying the stock. To take the trade. So that's it. Basic, basic trading is not that difficult. Just focus on the plan. Keep your keep your strategy simple and trade what you see. Y'all have a great day trading. I am the bearded trader.